Hello folks, and basically it's the Draconoid Meteorite, and you watch this on my video channels, and watch Hottie Drac, and it's uh, getting a lot of people's attention because basically it's there, it's actual factual, and this is your information from, and basically you should be able to see what's going to happen to your computer if the idea that you want to get backdoored while you're on it doing a screen recording. Because basically I'm showing you here that to go ahead and watch uh, the video here. And I guess basically that's it and I just didn't catch the screen of when uh, I got hacked. A few and basically this video here shows you what's going on. And basically uh, I believe someone actually caught this with a camera because there is some sound to it. It's, like, it's not like I was actually caught by a uh, webcam. As you can see the camera is moving also. So basically someone caught this on a webcam. There is sound so you go ahead and go to watch that one there. Pretty much exactly what I'm just showing you right now, but uh, you'll get the sound. So anyway, my only thing is, is that when we see this here, footage coming across, it looks more like a satellite and not a meteor, okay? Now, I could be possibly wrong on this, but basically this looks like man-made materials that are blowing up, okay? Usually when we get a meteorite or an asteroid, it streaks across the sky and you get the red and blue and white colors real fast, okay? But this is after it basically, this did an orbit around Earth. I think it was on the, the 22nd or 29th of September. Yeah, 22nd. And uh, hit our atmosphere and then did an orbit around Earth and ended up landing somewhere up in Canada. So I'm pretty sure, you know, it doesn't really matter. It is the Draconoid period. That means something hit us. Now, I also showed you videos. If you watch my last dozen videos, you'll see a comet hitting the sun. It's pretty much uh, factual, actual. I mean, straight up, a comet hit the sun. So I'm going to pop onto this, and that's this is the video where you go to it on this. Now, what loads up really quick after this here is this here, and people on the East Coast, it's all the buzz. And anyway, it, is it still shut down? Because if it is still shut down, that's not good, because the actual factual when they have a problem on a nuclear reactor it's best off to be up right away because the idea then that will actually uh, take care of burning off as much radiation as possible instead of being contained where you end up having an explosion so anyway uh, let's go ahead and go to uh, fireball and also you get New Mexico network and so forth and so on that you can go to but uh, basically what I want to do is go ahead and check out reporting a fireball site. And what you do is you come down and when you get to this site, you go ahead and come down and click on. Now I'm just at their site, but i got to show you how to get to it. And you go to Worldwide Meteor Sightings and then you can save this link. Okay. Try to save that link. Get your pens out. Write that down. Okay. Because this is the one that's going to show you where the idea that where the first site I was just at. I'll pop back to that in a second. We'll show you where you go to view what somebody has had to say about. The first one you'll see the map that's basically will taking time to load up top, but this is what everybody saw. Okay. And this is the information that they put in. And actual factual, you go watch that video that I first started with that I said I, you know, was showing you. It's just a good one because Fireball, I got it all down. What Fireball got on the night of the 6th, I believe. So, it was early. And it still should be out there. And that's what everybody's seeing. And that's why everybody's reporting this stuff in. Okay? So, you go to the site that I had first. And I'm going to pop back through that. And then it'll end up having this map here of where they're at. But that's all this thing really does. just shows you the name of the person. And then you get the information on this on this page that I just gave you the address here. And I'm going back a page, and this is where you initially go ahead and you go to this site to initially get your, uh, that's the site right there. You get your initial uh, form here to fill out what you see, okay? And it'll take you through what you go ahead and report whatever you've seen in the sky. Remember, my time is always down here in the lower right. I'll bring my cursor down, and there it is. You'll see always Central Standard Time, usually recently anyway, only Central Standard Time. And this is radar from your fresh radar from Asgard, okay? So they have five projectiles out there in the sky that they are following. 
okay this stuff's close to earth so basically right now there's nothing going to be reported on the 8th so you go to live and right now we don't have nothing except for i think you'll have this shot here that will end up showing you and i load that up and i'm not sure if this is the moon or what we have but there's so much sun coming off the super giants that you can go ahead and investigate whatever this was and remember that's utc time it's Zulu, no, not London time, because the idea that Zulu time is one hour earlier than what there is in uh, Great Britain right now, okay? So it's UTZ Zulu. Okay, and then basically what we ended up seeing in the video, you'll end up seeing here. And we caught the Draconoid, okay? Basically, like I said, it looked like a scorpion in this shot here. I'll end up popping this open. And we should get it down in the play, play area here. And there you go. It looks like a scorpion to me as far as I saw it. And it's pretty dramatic stuff, so. There you go. Like I said, it looks like a scorpion to me. And then we get out of this one and we'll pop down and you basically, you're just going to go watch the video that I had. And basically you're going to see this here. And it's basically caught. Straight up, Draconius got caught big time. So, it's pretty dramatic. And then all those reports get reported in of all other stuff that's coming around and everything like that. So you got to go check your stuff out. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and take this best weather now. And it put a pretty good show out last night too. And then this is your information on it. And it's, yep, it's only like two-thirds the distance to the sun it's doing this show at. Okay, so at least some of the, a lot of the objects that, that fly around. Now, it, Draconoid itself is farther out. And if you've been watching my last dozen videos, you watch them all. And I've got the information for you. Now what I want to do is I want to show you uh, Jupiter doing this action. And basically, like you say, the system is currently sleeping. And that's why, because it's freaking people out what they see. Because it becomes daylight at 13,800 and some feet. Because of all the light coming off the supergiants and the draconius and everything like that. There is a lot of light out there. So basically, we're going to go get you to time-lapse movies. And we're going to show you what's going on on the uh, 7th. Okay. So I'll let it load. Now it starts off, folks, when it first starts getting dark, the, all these remnants, these darks, which are basically shadows of stuff that's in front of the sun, they go away. See, they go bye-bye. And I'll just back it up just a little bit so you realize that. So here, pretty much the beginning, all those are dark remnants that are in front of the sun. That basically, those remnants follow the Earth, okay? And they're usually always in front of the sun during the daytime, and then at nighttime, they go away in the darkness, okay? Now, they do a good job of showing us what's coming up on the right-hand side. That's an airplane down there. And then you have Pleiades. Now, the most important thing with what we're doing is we're just basically going to watch what the hugeness of... Now, there is Pleiades, okay? And you're going to end up seeing the meatball, which we pretty much know about. And it may be Pleiades and maybe how large it is and how much we get it with a bunch of light. Because we have Jupiter. And I'm going to show you the 6 too, because the 6 is even better. Jupiter, Bategulus, and Rigel just do a hell of a show. As you can see, it almost looks daylight up in the sky. Okay, On the ground, you can see that it's dark. But they just show off a hell of a show. So... We'll end up seeing what we got for sun and during the day. And as you've seen, there we got a very interesting observation here, too, of clouds right here that get burnt by the heat off of this. And you'll end up getting some very high clouds here in just a second up here. Watch this here. And it's not me and my cursor. And that actually might be... And there's your meatball, okay? As you can see, the bottom portion... And as you see that wild, that might actually be some action from all the supergiants in a conundrum with uh, the draconoid. But anyway, you can see the meatball right there. You see that big old curve? And it's way past. And as you see, you get that wild action up there on top, and it's freaking people out. And there's the meatball. You see the big oval. And like I say, see... It basically is just in a viewing area right now because we're seeing in the back door in the dark again like we did last fall in the darkness of space. In Regulus, in Venus, putting on a heck of a show with all the sun and the supergiants propagating on the planets. Everything's really bright and everything's in alignment. 
Let's see what we get for daylight when it comes up. There's the super giants. It's putting all the light off on all the planets, and look at it. And then here just comes the sun. And there's its signature. And you can basically take and stop the video and freeze and get those arches and little crackling, whatever the heck that... Everybody says crystal, you know, diamond, or whatever natural elements of space is out there that gives you that architecture on the bottom of the sun. Because right here, you watch right here, there's going to be an etching of something that gets in front of the sun. As you see this etching right there. And I'll back it up again and shut up, and then with the cursor and stuff, and you'll be able to wash that. You should also be able to back up. So i got to hurry up and try to get the six in here. I'll let the sun come up here one more time, and you can see that etching, but... Because we'll be able to see the meatball in the sixth also. And there's that wild etching and everything like that with the sun coming up. Okay. And your remnants come back up there too. Okay. So we'll go ahead and pop in the six. They're loaded pretty fast. And here we go. There's the remnants. And they'll go away in the dark. And I'll blow up the full screen here. And that'll escape here in a second. And the remnants will be gone too. So I'll just back it up. And there you go. And get out of the way. And there's the remnants. Neptune formal hot okay so you do get that there shot of sunlight from formal hot as you see from way out in space so it's way hell away but watch that little shot of light that you get drag it back just enough see that little shot of light you get from formal hot I'll play it again for you watch formal hot give you a little shot of light from way out in space it's like 6,700 kill. So, as we go through, I should have hopefully not taken up too much time, so we're going to go through here now. You want to watch for after uh, Jupiter, and I believe it is, uh, it's going to be Rigel. Or, now, there's Pleiades, and basically the meatball is up there behind, and then basically it's going to come into effect here in a little bit, because... Alderbaran and the Supergiants and Jupiter put on a hell of a show. Watch the sky get bright. What a show. That's not the sun, it's not the moon, folks. That's Jupiter. And all the sun from the Supergiants. Pataglis is there, Rigel is there, Cyrus. And it's just hella bright. And I'm going to bring this back real fast because we'll let it play through again. And the actual factual is you watch the top of the screen, you'll end up seeing the meatball because you'll get it to basically show itself because it's lit up enough and there's the bottom of it right there and we'll see some more of the bottom in here in a second because it's really not going to go anywhere it's just the light's going to be right and you're going to be able to see it and it also puts this big of all the light out there it puts the big old halos out and I didn't mean to hit pause, but here we go. And there is the meatball. You can see it right on the bottom there. And I'll back it up and freeze it. And you see all these halo that, that just came out? Watch all the halo that comes here. You're going to get all kinds of beams of light from all that Jupiter and everything up here. And you get that halo there. And there you go. And you get the halo on the bottom. Check that out. Okay, now I just back up just a little bit. And we'll get the meatball. And I'll freeze it, and there you go. That's the biggest you're going to be able to see it. And you can't miss it. It's right here. Watch my cursor. And there it is. Okay. And you'll be able to see it again as long as we have clear skies. And then this is the halo, I'm saying. Or basically this light all propagates all that light off of Jupiter and everything. It all bounces back off of it. After Jupiter and Aldernab and I think move back away. So you can't miss that right there. You can't miss it. So, and as you you'll watch this move away, and it'll, this this here will all rise up, and I'll just back it back a little bit. There it goes. Say bye bye to it. There it goes. Bye to the meatball, and then we'll back it up, and it'll start coming into effect. You can see it here, and then it moves over, and then as the 3D effect off of Jupiter goes away. There it goes, and bye bye. Say goodbye bye to it, and there. We'll bump it back just a little bit, and there, there's the meatball, and.